The sheriff is back. Stop. Joker 2 is already dead. Armor wore white flag? I saw that thing. That thing came in here while I was on the couch. That's going to kill me. That's real. That lives with us on Earth. John Wick's growing family? King Nerd Henry Cavill continues down the nerd path. Denis Villeneuve's risky business. Next Nolan movie. Minito, Minuto Pinguino. Witching Minute or Hour. Guess we changed the name. And much more. All of that and much more coming up here on News Den. I'm back, Mac. You are back. You spent a week down in Florida, storm-ridden Florida. You were trying mm -hmm. to have a nice vacation. I'll say this. If there's any betters uh, at home on uh, va family vacations, fade anytime go. Goo has one planned, yeah, fade him. There's always something fade that go. goes wrong. <laughs> Every single time, whether it be COVID or a natural disaster, <laughs> something's going to happen to Goo. I will say this, though, first and foremost, hearts and wishes out or uh, prayers out to the people that were actually affected by the hurricane. I sure, was in sure. Orlando. I was not affected. I was on a Disney World Resort. They prepare for the hurricanes. They get hit by several every year. So nothing really happened. Being stuck in the hotel for a day or two, not the greatest with a four-year-old, but being with a four-year-old at Disney World, maybe the greatest week of my life. Yeah, on the flip side of that, I got hit with a hurricane in my personal life, Goo. I think I had my identity stolen. Oh. Uh, someone apparently got a hold of my social security number and applied for all sorts of credit cards. So I was dealing with that while you were dealing with a with an actual hurricane. And so that's real frustrating. I think I got it before they actually like were able to get lines of credit. But I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, I'm ready to fucking kill someone. Is that the reason why you didn't give the people a second episode last week? <laughs> it didn't help. It didn't help things. That's for sure. I attempted. I tried. I didn't try my darndest, but I mm -hmm. was more concerned about uh, other things. Very quickly with Disney World Orlando, the uh, ranking the parks there with Disney at the bottom, Animal Kingdom. Now, I will say this. It does have a chance of creeping up because of the Avatar ride. I went on the Avatar ride after I came off the Avatar ride. I hated the actual Earth. I wanted to go back into that Avatar life. I think I get it now. Please describe the Avatar ride for us. You hop on something that is like a motorcycle where they like okay. really strap you in there oh, and then yeah. you're fl There's you're flying motorcycle. a dragon wherever the fuck they're called. <laughs> oh, the thing where you connect your your Yeah, your tail ponytail. To? I didn't have a ponytail, so I had to put something right. else in there. But right. <laughs> it was something else. Then you go Magic Kingdom. Now, that might be different if you're a bit younger. I will say that I appreciate the attention to detail that is in all of these parks, but Magic Kingdom certainly has that extra feel to it epcot is great i was also there during the food and wine festival so Ooh. nice cheap eats all along the street yep. also my son really into frozen right now that's where a lot of the frozen stuff is okay and then we go to hollywood studios that is my favorite one and i will forever love the aerosmith ride wow how about that so is an arrow is the aerosmith ride uh basically just like they play aerosmith music on a roller coaster well, you go through, it's like a fake studio. Steven Tyler yells about, you know, hey, our fans need to get to the destination. And then you hop in the back of a limo and it just <laughs> dipsy do dunkaroo. Do you get to watch, uh, is it crying? The music video with his daughter and Alicia. No, Sol you don't get to watch that one. But Darn. Uh, then we go to this on social media, Mac. I was voted captain of the show. So moving forward. I will wear my C with pride. It's, hold on. Hold on. Is that yeah. a sticky note that you have ripped into a C? That would be correct. I could not find the scissors <laughs> earlier. So this is my C. I am Captain Goo now. I'll be running a tighter ship. Having to be, said that, to be our, fair, yes. I voted for you twice once with my regular account, once with my burner account. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Now, having said that, I'm going to run a tighter ship, Mac. We're putting this news dump out very, very late on a goose day slash maybe on a Wednesday. Yep, so the tighter ship, not that tight. Listen, this is yeah. this is vacation season for, for us, us spooky boys. Late October is <laughs> fucking vacation season. <laughs> and also, Mac, 
next week, the 23rd of October. We'll be back at Idle Hands Craft Ales, 89 Commercial Street, Malden, Massachusetts, with our next trivia, and it is a big one. It's always sunny in Philadelphia trivia. One of my favorite shows, comedies of all time. Yeah, I I'm so far behind now. I think I'm like fucking five seasons behind. I gotta I gotta get caught up. I just I'll I tell lost you what? the steam. The season opener from last year is like mm-hmm. classic Sunny. It feels that. like that. I mean, they have those every once in a while. The consistency isn't always there, but every once in a while, you feel like this is season seven, season eight, Sunny. All right, I love that. Now let's get to the actual news. News dump. Weekend box office coming at you on a Tuesday night. Terrifier 3 wins the box office clown on clown crime. 18.3 million domestic, also worldwide because it's only in the U.S. I uh, did make the clown connection. That 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 tickles me. Uh, I uh, Listen, I generally like horror movies. I would consider yes. myself a horror movie fan. However... These aren't the types I'm into. I'm not into the straight slashers just for the the hell of it, the gore. So I don't think I'll ever see any Terrifier movies, I'll but I'm this, happy I've they're doing never, well. I've never seen a Terrifier movie, and I did notice the other day on Rotten Tomatoes, these do really well with the, or the people that see it, the critics that see these movies. Yeah. Um, I asked Dork, because Dork has at least seen a couple. I'm like, are these any good? And they said, it's exactly what you think. Yeah, and that's exactly why I haven't seen it. I... I I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me if someone really loves these movies. They're just not my speed. Um, I think it's it's high class comedy that it made more than double what Joker did, and it is it is unbelievable that a movie about a killer clown absolutely smushed Joker two at the box office when Joker two's budget was two hundred million. What what would you estimate the budget for Terrifier three? Like thirty million? Like thirty bucks. <laughs> They went to the dollar store and just picked up a bunch of shit. <laughs> so finishing first was Terrifier 2 was the wild robot at 13 and a half. As of right now, it looks like there is a wild robot sequel in the works. I guess it's a three-part book, maybe. Oh, okay. I it, yeah. It's also, uh, it's hit streaming this week. So if you want to watch it at a home, early. you can rent it at home as well. Finishing third and pretty much tied for third because it's this and Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Michael Keaton once again taking on the Joker. Uh, Joker has broken a record in its second week, the highest box office drop ever for a comic book movie, if you want to put that in quotes first off, because I'm not even sure if it is. An 81% drop to 7.05 million domestically in its second weekend. I spoke to a couple people over the last mm-hmm. couple of weeks after we had seen the movie. And uh, essentially, I I wouldn't say that people were excited to go see this movie, but they're like, oh, I like the first one. I was kind of looking forward to this one. And after I told them sort of the deal, they're like, oh, I will not be spending my money on that. Joker 2 is right now the possibility it could lose $200 million in its theatrical run. <laughs> And I read it's is it WB that, that yeah. did this? Warner Brothers. Uh, I read that they're already like four billion in debt, so this is not gonna not. Yeah, and they also they scrapped movies that people actually want to see with Wiley e. Coyote and Batgirl, and those movies yeah. could be the biggest piles of shit, but we don't know. It it's yeah, it's almost r- frustrating when when a movie like this has this big a budget and it's this bad, and they scrap those movies that mm-hmm. had. It, I, I mean, after you had heard about him, it sort of builds uh, some some excitement. But release the fucking Wiley, I, Wiley Coyote cut, you know? I don't think they get the tax write-off that they want if they then release it. Christ, they should have wrote off fucking Yelker 2. Yeah, especially since Yelker 2 costs a lot of money to make. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, I just said, tied with Joker. <laughs> this is Beetlejuice's fifth weekend at the box office. Uh, via E News, Michael Keaton said that he'd be down to make Beetlejuice three. I'd do those films every year. I, I'd like a like twenty minutes every year. Just give me like a Beetlejuice special every year. <laughs> I don't need a full theatrical movie, but twenty minutes would be nice. I think I've I've reached my appetite for Beetlejuice. I I the first one's a classic. I really enjoyed this past one a little more than you did. Um, I'm not sure I want another Beetlejuice story ever again. 
But if you're going to do Beetlejuice hijinks, much like the animated series, and I guess I could just watch the animated series, but, you know, 15 minutes. Like a nice little YouTube short. By the way, you know that YouTube okay. shorts are uh, moving to three minutes as opposed to the one minute. That's not very short. I mean, it's still shorter than most songs, though. So that's, I guess, uh, maybe that's a lot of songs now are roughly two and a half minutes. That's true. We're get, we're getting back to the good old days. That's yeah. I mean, you 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 load a, a Beatles album up. It's like twenty five songs, but they're all two and a half minutes long. Yeah, and then you go to like Led Zeppelin, and it's eight songs that are four and a half hours long. <laughs> no issue with it. I I don't mind busting out the lead every once in a while, Mac. Transformers <laughs> One has passed one hundred million at the box office. Still kind of bombing. Not doing very well. Eighty five million box uh, budget. So not great. I don't know if it's bombing. It's just certainly not performing maybe the way they would have liked. And Saturday night, the SNL first episode movie that just came out this past weekend made $3.4 in its opening weekend, getting pretty good write-ups. I will see that soon. Yeah, getting very strong reviews. Hitting the box office this weekend, most likely to win at the box office is Smile 2, and it is projected to make anywhere from 20 to $40 million. I think I'm going to see the first, watch the first one this week, and potentially go see this in theaters. the uh, The trailer looks pretty good, and yeah. the uh, the lead in this is Naomi Scott, who would we we would know as Jasmine from the live action Aladdin. She also played the Pink Power Ranger in the Power Ranger remake from a few years ago. News dump. Don Cheadle, when asked about the status of Armor Wars, he said, "You can find out and let me know. I'm not sure where anything is right now." <laughs> um i gotta say i did not have an appetite at all for agatha all along and i have enjoyed four of the five episodes so i as much as i don't want armor wars or don Cheadle, i think if you're if you're having shows like agatha all along you there's probably space for armor wars i don't know if there is they need to really pick and choose and not just make everything fair enough news dump Daniel Bruhl was asked if he'll appear as Baron Zemo in Thunderbolt Asterix, and he said to Yahoo, next question. Yeah, I don't know how to read this. I don't know if he's annoyed he's not in it or if he's like, doesn't want to screw the pooch and reveal a big a big reveal. I, 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 That's I my guess. I can't get a read on it. I think he's in it, but he also, he wants to keep the surprise, and he, you know, he wants to keep on being in these movies. He doesn't want to be sure. a spoiler, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. respect that. News dump! Got another, is this the final trailer, or just some images, but we got uh, Venom Frog, and this thing, yeah. this thing lives on Earth. I think we have the screening next week. Did we get an email about uh, Venom? I haven't been checking my emails. People are not happy about that, but I have not been checking my emails. Um, I think this movie is going to be fucking terrible. I don't, because Tom Hardy is the man, it's mm -hmm. not going to get the depths of Joker or Madam Web, but there's a really good chance that this is uh, that tier right above it. I guess a rumor that I've seen is that this might be the introduction slash like uh, diving into Null. Well, yeah. So the the null is is behind or related to the all these symbiotes, and also the sword that we saw. Um, what's his face, uh, John Snow, get at the end? John of Snow. Eternals. That's the character that I'm thinking of. Um, so I, I this is tough because I know that like the Venom verse is kind of dead after this movie, but also mm -hmm. the symbiotes are tied pretty directly into some things that are s supposedly gonna yeah. happen in the mcu well because a rumor is is that spider-man 4 might be spider-man versus all the symbiotes and null and whatnot hmm. i don't that doesn't really get me going goo it's called spider-man colon black goo <laughs> News that was almost been, <laughs> and an alternate universe is this podcast is titled black and goo right right <laughs> We have our casting for Green Lantern, or just Lanterns, right? That's the HBO show. That's what they're going to call it. Yeah, Lanterns. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be like a mini series or if they're planning multiple seasons mm -hmm. or what. But I'll also say this is that off of the back of Penguin, which we'll talk about in a little bit, I'm excited for anything DC is doing right now. Mm -hmm. Kyle Chandler, not to be confused with the former Patriots tight end. He'll be playing Hal Jordan and Aaron Pierre, not to be confused with the great leadoff hitter of a different name is John Stewart not to be confused with 
the comedian and Daily Show host. Uh, yeah, I like these. Aaron Pierre's playing the younger, mm -hmm. uh, more brash John Stewart. Kyle Chandler's playing his sort of mentor, Hal Jordan. So the age thing kind of works there. Like you said, uh, the direction DC is going in, other than Peacemaker Season 2, I'm pretty much in on. I mean, Kyle Chandler is a big fucking dude, but he had frying pans for hands. <laughs> Couldn't catch a touchdown if he was wide open and you slapped him with a banjo in the ass. It's funny how in the 90s and 2000s, and I'm sure it existed before that, but when we started really getting into football, how unathletic most quarterbacks and tight ends were. And yes. then all of a sudden, one day they were like, oh, we could be athletic too. I think about Kyle Brady so often. <laughs> it's so weird how often I think about Jaguars. And great. Kyle. Don't Brady. get me wrong. The man could block. Yeah, sure. Fucking could. That's about it though. <laughs> News dump. The John wick universe is growing question mark because in a graphic put out by culture crave on X, Pretty much everything here is like potential, potential. It depends on how good certain things are. So first off, John Wick 5 is in the works, and it could potentially take place before his death, which would make sense because although I wouldn't mind a zombie John Wick, that'd be kind of cool now that I think about it. Uh, this is not great as far as I'm concerned. So the that spinoff series, The Continental, no appetite for. Um, there's some app appetite for this ballerina project. Should I finish my list before you keep going? Oh, well, you, you had stopped as if. You well, I were wanted you to talk. To I wanted speak. you to, to chuckle about my John Wick zombie thing, and then no. I'd get back to my and, list. Nope. Go ahead. All right. So ballerina too, but this depends on the success of the first one. And off of that, uh, Chad Stahelski had to reshoot a significant chunk of ballerina after Lionsgate did not like Len Wiseman's work for the film. The reshots, the reshoots took around two to three months. Not a good sign. Then That's we go to a 75% of the movie was reshoots. Then we go to a Donnie Yen spinoff. I believe his character's name is Kane. I wouldn't mind that as a show. Actually. I did like his character in John wick four. Then we go to an under the high table, I believe show. And that would not feature wick. But that sounds like the other show, The Continental, that they had with uh, Peacock. Then we go to a John Wick anime series that would show off some stuff that they wouldn't be able to do in the movies. And that does sound pretty interesting as well. And then a AAA developed game. Uh, yeah, I none of none of this gets me going at all. You don't I like any of the John Wick movies, though. You're not the I, right audience. I, I like the first John Wick movie. Mm -hmm. um i like the first 30 minutes of the third john wick movie um I, the game maybe gets me most excited you could do a gta type of world uh mm -hmm. but again this is not just me there was no appetite for the continental which is directly tied into john wick in in like i said i, I think there's some appetite for ballerina but some of it is just because anna de Armas is in it so i don't I think after Ballerina probably disappoints at the box office, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we, we're not doing any of this. It's from the John Wick universe, though. What's the beginning of it? From John yeah. Wick? Something yeah, like that? The, something like that. From the world of John Wick? There you go. That's not good, though. News dump! Henry Cavill will star in the live-action Voltron film for Amazon, him continuing to just do anything nerdy possible. <laughs> I know so little about Voltron other than the Voltron uh, mecha thing. I don't, yeah. I don't know what, what, what else you would call it. Um, so I don't know any of the characters. I don't know who Henry Cavill will be playing. I love Henry Cavill, though, so I'm, I'm in on this. Between this, uh, what's the Hammer show that he's also doing? What's the that Witcher. called? No, he, he's already done The Witcher. He's already left oh. The Witcher, though. Um, if we ever get asked to do the Dork Hall of Fame once again, Henry Cavill has to go in, right? I agree. Totally agree. He's done everything possible to get in. Yeah, I think he just like loves comic books in this. He loves shit. computers. He loves games. <laughs> News dump. I read earlier that a Detective Pikachu sequel is in the works. Reportedly, it'll be called The Great Detective Pikachu. Best news of the week, you Detective Pikachu, criminally underrated. I what really year is it. that from though? I really enjoyed it. I think it was nice. I liked it. I think that just playing around in that Pokemon world is fun, fun as fuck. That's why we all liked the games. I think there's 
I I I'm all in on the live action Pokemon movies. So first off, the first two thirds of that Pikachu movie was awesome. The last third, fucking nonsense. I love Fair the enough. look of the live action Pokemon. I will agree mm-hmm. with you there. Um, I'm I'm like, would they bring back Ryan Reynolds? You think? Uh, maybe he might cost too much now. Yeah. I will also, you just mentioned, uh, I love the world of Pokemon, which made me then think of the second theme song for the anime series that I love for some reason. It's, it's not as good as the original one. Not as good as the original, but pretty good. But the, uh, we all live in a Pokemon, Pokemon world. world. <laughs> I want to be the greatest master of them all. <laughs> That was right after he lost, uh, like, in the Elite Eight, right? Yeah, right around then. I, I got to say, I don't know if there's 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 three words that gets me more jacked up more than, I will travel across the land. That just puts me in, I will travel. And it's, by the way, that guy that sings that song has yep. been living his He's whole awesome. life. He's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's the best. I love He's watching. the worst. All of these people that sang the theme songs to all these uh, shows, like the guy that did DuckTales also has a great video thing going on, too. Yeah. (laughs) News dump. Got a trailer, kind of. More of a teaser for Invincible Season 3. It'll be out on February 6th, 2025. And in the teaser, it was said that there will be no mid-season break this year. Oh boy, that's a show that really crashed and burned for me. I was so excited and and looking forward to so much of what that show was going to do. And that was what, four years ago, three years mm-hmm. ago. Then it took another two years to get to half of season two. And then we took like a fucking four month break to get to the second half. Listen, it's still good. It's It's better than most things. It's just, I don't know. I think they kind of lost it. They lost the spark. They didn't capture it quickly enough. News down. Denis Villeneuve said that Blade Runner 2049 was the riskiest film of his career. I thought to make a sequel to my favorite film is a beautiful way to end my career. I get what he's saying. And a lot of uh, dialogue has been around sequels with uh, Joker 2. Mm-hmm. Um, that could have been pretty bad. And it turned out being, in my opinion, w- way better than the first movie. The first movie is a cult classic, and there's a whole generation that grew up on that movie that loved that movie. Blade Runner 2049 is a fucking masterpiece. The first one, one, I get, I understand why it's liked. Blade Runner 2049 is a fucking masterpiece. Want to hear a possibly riskier move? Ooh. Ooh. News down. Denis Villeneuve told Screen Daily, I think, that he wants to make a silent film saying, I love dialogue, but not always in cinema. I hope one day I will be able to make a film that will not use spoken language. And before you say anything, Mac, I think that he might be the only person that could pull this off. Yeah. So first things first, terrible idea. Yeah. Second, second point to be made here. If there was a director that was going to make this succeed, it would be Denis Villeneuve because this man is a master of visuals. And mm-hmm. of course, uh, who's the cinematographer we talk about? That oh, I forget. I last forget. Last couple of movies. Yeah. Um, that obviously helps as well. But this man paints beautiful movies. Yes. All his movies look unbelievable. So if there was a way for a silent film to be successful in 2025 or 2020 or 2030, I think it would be with Denis Villeneuve behind the lens. Well, I've said in the past that I think John Wick 3 would have been better if there was no dialogue. There you go. That's actually not a bad, those types of movies, less dialogue for sure. Zero dialogue, just straight Mm -hmm. action throughout. Yep. News dump. Speaking of another auto, Christopher Nolan's next film is set to release in 2026, July 17th. This is via deadline. Matt Damon is in talks to star in the movie. The film will start filming, 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 2025. Nolan wrote the script. He is returning to Universal. And actually, when he was shopping the script around or shopping the movie around, he refused to take any uh, offers from WB. Hmm. How about that? So he's just jaded. He's, he's spitey. He's, he's, he's spites. Yeah. Spites. Yeah, he yeah, still yeah. hates them for what they did to Tenet, even though they gave him a bunch of money after being like, please come back to us. Tenet. 
Tenet's it's not good. It's not a good movie. It's not a yeah, bad you know, movie. You ever hear of this movie. though? I don't know if you've ever realized this is that a Tenet backwards. Tenet. Tenet. It's like race car or Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Arizona. News dump. DreamWorks has turned 25 years old. And just like my other favorite animated studio, which was the, the Bluth movies of the mid 80s that were helped out by Amblin, another cartoon studio that came to be from someone who hated Disney and needed to get back at Disney. That's what DreamWorks did. I believe, I can't think of the guy's name, but he was one of the guys who was supposed to be the CEO of Disney. He got passed over. So instead he made DreamWorks. Sure. And Mac, I ask you this, 25 years, what is your favorite DreamWorks movie, animated movie, mind you? Uh, Maybe Shrek 2. I was going to say Shrek, Shrek 2. 2. Yeah. That off the, off, the, off the cuff, I feel like it's Shrek 2. <laughs> you know what I just thought of is um, Al Pacino recently said that he died from COVID. <laughs> okay. And, <All> right. <laughs> and he, he said there's no afterlife. What made me think of this is that Al Pacino has a Shrek phone case. And what he I does. think is that he died and they said to him, you can come up to heaven, but you got to leave that Shrek phone case behind. And he said, put me back on earth. T to be fair. Yes. Uh, Al Pacino does look dead. So I, he might be telling the truth. But that was a, like my sister sent me the article. Can you believe Al Pacino died and he's still here? <laughs> Someone can fact check me. I don't even know if that's a real thing. But sure. if it happened, it happened. The man loves Shrek. I'm not sure if it's Shrek 1 or Shrek 2, but it's definitely No, I don't think two. he does. I think his like, grandkid got him the case or something like that. He has a Shrek phone case. You have to love yeah, Shrek. Yeah, I, I think it was a gift from one of his grandchildren, and like that's why he uses it. What, what, what are you getting at? <laughs> the fact that he's had the same phone for so long is what is actually impressive. Hoo-ah! News down. Queena Menudo, we just got episode four, four. of the Penguin, and yep. maybe the best of the bunch. Kristen Milioti, oh my lord! Kristen Milioti, I'll tell you, if she doesn't win an Emmy for this role, there something's gone wrong. She's fucking unbelievable as Sophia Falcone, yeah, and especially in this episode, so good. You see shades of different uh, uh, stages of her life, yeah, and she plays them extremely well. I'm just like. I can't get enough of Christine Milioti, Kristen Milioti as Sophia Falcone to the point where um, I want her to still be in play in this universe going yeah. forward. Like I, her character is fucking well, awesome. Well, she has to go. She has to come across uh, Selena Kyle. Like we have to. They're sisters in this universe. They need to figure things out with this. So, like I was a little disappointed that they didn't bring up Maria Kyle in this episode, Selena's mother, who was also killed by John Tutoro. <laughs> Tutoro. Yeah. Yeah. I just, well, by the I way, uh, John Tudoro and not nothing against Mark Strong, but John Tudoro carrot sign facing over Mark Strong. Agree. I, I'm a little confused as how they couldn't get John Tudoro back. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, this episode, you would have thought because it's a flashback episode or 75% of it is, you would have thought it kind of would have halted what's going on in the season. But man, it was so good. And she's so good. good. Yeah. It, it worked. It just worked. They're building this world so well. Like, not mm. only the Penguin show, but the world of Gotham around Batman. I forgot it's, I forgot Batman's in this universe these last yeah. couple episodes. It's unbelievable. It's so good. Uh, it I really did, like, is. someone had a comment of, like, so, so, so Sophia dealt with all of this at Arkham. There's no way that the Riddler would live through Arkham by himself because he's a dweeb. Yeah, true. Very true. Unless he's well-respected in there. Yeah. I also like how they spent episode three on his uh, little sidekick there too. Yes, no, they've done it. They've done a very good job fleshing out the the backstories of these characters so far. So hopefully, these final four are action packed. And this past episode pits Sophia versus Oz. So there's gonna be mm -hmm. that's that's gonna come to a head. I love, I love Oz in this show. It's like great. he is just such a backstabbing, sniveling, like just whatever gets him going. Like just. Anything that he can do to just like take one step ahead or just not get in trouble, not get killed. It, he's doing he, it. I love it. I, I'm I'm just so I'm almost taking aback at how good Christine Kristen Milioti's been though, yeah. because 
I'm like, wow, she, I think she's the best character on the show. As good as yeah. Colin Farrell is, as Oz Cobb, I think she has surpassed him. Also, his reaction, and it's very small every time, but when someone calls him Penguin, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's pretty good. News down. I, I was going to say, I also yes. liked how uh, in the somewhat flashback episode, he's like a little less fat, doesn't limp yeah. as much. Like it, it, They did a nice job with the little touches like that. Hey, witchy woman, Ooh, Agatha, all along. Witchy woman. Did you watch the episode that was released yesterday? Any yesterday. good? Yeah, there's there an episode one. released yesterday, I they think. Released? No, I don't think they did. I think they're ramping things up for Halloween, maybe. Oh, okay. So if there was an episode six, I missed it. Episode five uh, gave us a reveal that a lot of fans had speculated on the internet. Yes. I don't want to spoil it for anyone mm -hmm. that hasn't gotten there yet, but I enjoyed it. Um, it's shaping up to be like, this show is actually going to be something of substance that the conclusion is actually going to matter. Did you like that song? Was it an episode three, like the rock band when they did the witch's that path? Was, that was episode four, I think. That was four. Okay. And uh, four, I thought was hot garbage. I have how many episodes have we had so far? Five, unless the unless there was a sixth one that okay. you're claiming. I've watched all five episodes. I've fallen asleep during eighty percent of them now. <laughs> Did you like the reveal in episode five? I had to wake up and then watch it again. Okay, and then after you did, I've that, already, you I already it. knew it was coming. So now, yeah, okay, fair enough. I like, I like the. I like the color. I like the look. I just, I, li I like where it's trending. I just don't know if they're going to stick the landing. I'm just, I don't care about witches. And this is so witch heavy. This show about I witches we were the is fucking too hashtag witch spooky boys. Now you're telling me you're out on witches? When were we the spooky boys? Why? We've always been the spooky when, when, boys. When, 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 when the spooky boys. We're, we're the fucking gruesome <laughs> tooth, motherfucking spooky boys. <laughs> News dump. And finally, Mac, have you seen this Aaron Hernandez show? Can't do it. I've seen clips on the internet. It's so cringy. I can't. I'll never watch it. I won't. I will. Not, I refuse to bring myself to watch this fucking show. Every clip that I see feels like it is a theater nerd putting on what he thinks football is. Yeah. <laughs> they wear pads, right? Find the biggest pads possible. They haven't uh, worn pads that big in the NFL since the 1970s. <laughs> uh i've seen like th the three clips that have kind of gone viral and god is it so belichick craft gronk and, and hernandez you think he was in bounds grab. i disagree i think toe he tap. was six feet out of bounds garrett wilson toe tap <laughs> with his giant fucking pads on <laughs> news dump all right, catch us at the end of the week for a real episode. What I'm thinking in honor of Joker 2, Fale Adu, is that we will do sequels that tarnished the legacy of the original movie. Yeah, we could do The Wild Robot, too. We should do that. I want to do this first. Okay, fair well, enough. While Joker 2 is so hot. Before it gets pulled from theaters. <laughs> Before the people say, no more Joker. All right, so that'll do it here. Hey, ba 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 ba.